Mr. Erg. I'm Mr. Ohm. We furnish the current that's currently in your home. Our only eccentricity is to polish electricity for the cleanest power in the land. For the cleanest power in the land. From the New York AC to Washington DC, the keenest, cleanest power in the land. Well, quite frankly, doctor, my teeth smell. My breath is lovely. People comment on it. Men, strangers in bars say, Madam, breathe on a stranger's drink and make it a mint julep. Well, I work hard on my breath, doctor. You know the little place where your tongue joins and rises up from the floor of your mouth? Well, I mint that up. I grease it up with a mint spray. Well, even my gums get a magic minty massage. Chanel herself could have invented number five right between these lips. My teeth smell. Help me. Ladies and gentlemen, the President's Commission on Air Pollution has finally released the long-awaited exhaustive studies of the research team headed by Dr. Theodore Whiffman into the problems of air pollution, which plague so much of the air over so many of our leading and even unleading cities and hamlets. All of the networks tonight have kindly lent us their time so that we may bring you Dr. Whiffman himself in his laboratories in Princeton, New Jersey. Ted, uh, Ted, can you hear me? Quite clearly, Senator. Oh, uh, yes, Ted, we uh, just have a word from a sponsor here. Jane, do you mean you're leaving me because my neck smells? <laughs> a doctor, isn't there anything he can do? <laughs> Sonny, we can put men on the moon, but neck odor? The breath of life is quite important to all concerned voters, Ted. What results has the committee come up with? A little levity in this, but quite frankly, Ted, I and my family are holding my breath. Quite frankly, Senator, my report will open a great many eyes and change quite radically our thoughts, not so much on air pollution as on its source. The source of air pollution? Quite unfairly, air pollution has been blamed on the automotive industry, the gasoline industry, and industries vitally important to this country's growth. My exhaustive research equipment reveals that the pollution in the air caused by major industries is a paltry 2%. 2%? But, Ted, what causes the remaining 98%? People. People. Oh, a lot of people take any chance they can to put the screws into big business. But science can't lie. We all pollute the air. All our smells and our sweats and our gases and belongings blew their evil poison into the skies. But, Doctor, I thought toenails were the last odor-safe part of a woman. But, Ted, what can we do? More products, more sprays, more pills, more cream, more soap. We've got to pitch in, bathe, spray, buy. Rub ourselves until there's nothing left. Clean, cleaner, ammonia. Rub ammonia in our skin. Skin can take it. Skin has to take it. Girdleosis. Washing my girdle twice a week isn't enough. Frankly, Fern, your bridal bouquet smells. Smells. Well, this certainly has been eye-opening, Ted. And I just hope that all of my constituents out there, whether with me or against me, will open your mouths and spray for peace.
furnish the current that's currently in your bird. Don't offend, friend. Keep your blood kissing sweet. Ear odor. Oh. oh.